and today we're going to be talking about the things that dealers don't tell you. And basically the main question of this whiteboard is, is the coin worth it? Did we pay too much um, or did we get it for a great price? Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we went to the day two of the Houston Winter Coin Show. Uh, we met up, bought some stuff from our client or our uh, dealer that we work with the, using the 30 minute rule. And then we also found a lot of nice stuff there. And in today's video, we're gonna show you guys uh, about one coin that we bought there, how we priced it, um, and if we made money on it. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. Um, if you guys do, are enjoying our videos, Make sure to subscribe, you're never going to want to miss an episode. Uh, let's get to the video. Hey guys, just made it up to the light box, and today we're going to be talking about the things that dealers don't tell you. Um, and, and what that really means is that every dealer has a passion. Every dealer has something they like, like to collect, like to sell like to work with and there's things that they don't like to work with aren't passionate about and don't like to sell and so if you can figure out what they don't like you can figure out what they don't like to price if you figure out what they don't uh, kind of want to work with and they just want to get rid of that's somewhere where you can excel and so we're going to show you guys some wonderful coins today uh, this is the second day of uh, the Houston Winter Coin Show uh, a lot of great people there. Uh, we met someone at the door that just, he's like, hey, what's up, Drew? Acoustia Collectibles. And I'm like, and I shrugged him off. And then Casey said, come on back, dude. Like, this this guy this guy watches your channel. And I'm like, it's just, this, I don't know, I'm just so thankful for all the, guy, uh, the, all the people that watch um, our videos and enjoy our content every day. But let's jump into the first coin today. This is a 1917D Type 2 um, Standing Liberty Quarter. Created MS66 by PCGS. Um, it's just an outstanding coin. Uh, the really the reason why I do like it is because you know we when we talk about ugly toning or beautiful toning or blast white, um, this coin really was not tampered with. And when I asked I asked a, a dealer um, about a few coins, and he said some of these coins came out of an album. I know this one didn't. It actually went through Heritage. Um, but this coin, as you can see, the toning isn't too distracting. There's no there's no distracting marks on the coin. Um, there's no dots. Um, and when you kind of carousel it, it has that kind of originality to it. Um, just, just really beautiful. Um, I like the coin because it has more detail than any of the coins I've really handled in the past. Maybe one there's one SLQ that I've handled that's better than this one. But I don't know. It's just if you just take a look at it up close, the Standing Liberty Quarter is just mesmerizing. Um, you know, when you start to get min state 62, min state 63, um, you know, details, you know, aren't, aren't as strong. Uh, the, the strike wasn't as good. The luster's not as good. But with this coin, I mean, it's just outstanding. I, I love standing Liberty quarters. And, you know, when I'm 40 or 50, I'm going to definitely jump into these. Um, but as we were talking about dealers that don't like to deal, deal with stuff and what they're passionate about and not passionate about, I'm not saying this dealer wasn't passionate about standing Liberty quarters, but... Uh, he was just ready to get rid of them, and so I, I found this coin. This coin sold last year on Heritage for sixteen sixteen hundred and eighty dollars. Um, and so when I was at the coin show, I actually bought one other Standing Liberty quarter from him. You're about to see it; it's amazing. But this quarter um, I bought from him. He said all I wanted is that gray sheet, and so gray sheet was sixteen hundred. So I'm instantly making eighty dollars on my money from the comps last year. And so when I took a look at it, and when, uh, you know, I really fell in love with the coin, I said, you know what, I can make 150 bucks, I can make my 10%, as most coin dealers strive to do uh, with this market. 
and you know I, I just like the coin and that's something that I picked up on that's something that I, I, I try to capitalize on and it ended up helping me buy a few other coins but let's show you guys the next one hey guys this is Drew and welcome back to another whiteboard session um, and basically what we're gonna be talking about today is the nine, nice 1923s a standing liberty quarter graded xf40 by pcgs that we just showed you in the light box and basically the main question of this whiteboard is is the coin worth it did we pay too much um, or did we get it for a great price and the backstory on uh, this piece is that uh, at the we were at the day two of the houston winter coin show uh, we went there day one and saw it um, but we didn't ask the price about it and didn't get, really get time to get uh, get to it uh, but day two was really good because we got to talk to a few dealers, um, sell a few things, buy a few things, um, and we ended up buying this coin. And the main reason why is because of the few pluses that we mentioned here. Um, basically what the dealer said is that I just got this coin in this week. Um, and he said he bought it from an old collection. And what that means is that it hasn't been to an auction house. It hasn't been in many collectors' hands, so not many people know about it. And so... Um, Another cool thing about the coin was that it was a key date and it had very nice color. And when we took a look at all the 23S's on PCGS's uh, true views that they post, um, this one was arguably the nicest circulated example that we could find. Um, so all those things culminated into uh, the price that we paid. We paid $11.75 for the coin. And when we break down the numbers, which is the most important part of a coin um, to, to determine if it's worth it or not, uh, gray sheet was 1050, so we did pay that extra 125 dollar premium for the coin. Um, the highest sold comp, which was this month actually, sold for uh, 1275, and the coin had no color. It looked a little cleaned as well when I took a look at it. Um, and retail, just for you guys to know, is 1500, which gives you sometimes that little bit of spread um, for an opportunity uh, to to ask a little bit more when you have a nice example like this one. Um, and so. With all that combination together, we sold this coin uh, for $1,355 um, the same day, basically. Um, so if you guys ever find a nice coin, you ever ask, um, you ask yourself, is it worth it? Use these things, use the pluses and minuses that you might find, um, and know the backstory of it as well. And last but not least, if you guys do have bulk Indian head sense, uh, we are looking for some, so reach out on our website. Uh, I respond to messages to you directly on there. Um, email us, call us, um, reach out to us on Instagram or Facebook. We're always trying to get back with you guys, but I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, whiteboard session, and let's get back to the video. I, I love this coin, and it's not just to be showboaty or um, pump up what I have to sell or whatever. This coin actually already sold, so... Um, and, and the reason being is because of the toning that it has. Um, when you put it in the light, you know, you're seeing those golds, those blues, those greens, those pinks, those purples. And this coin, I think, was in an album. And so uh, I actually paid up for this coin. Um, the comps on this coin, like the highest comp was eleven seventy five for this coin. Um, and the toning wasn't so great. And so... Uh, when I when I offered this to the public, I that toning was the premium that I had in mind. Um, and as we've been discussing in previous videos, Standing Liberty quarters were held in plastic bags, just like Peace Dollars were, to uh, avoid tarnishing or damage, as that what they would call it back then. People will, really wanted to avoid the text, the te the toning or the textile toning or the bag toning. Um, but this coin, like I said, he said was held in an album, and the, the color on this coin is very nice and the unique part about this coin too is it's a 23s and so when we go back to talking about what dealers um, don't tell you uh, this dealer doesn't basically doesn't tell me that he doesn't really understand toning and how to price it um, he, he wants to make his quick buck but he doesn't know how much to charge for a coin um, that's something that you can work with and you know when dealers just say you know I want to make my money and I want to I want to keep going out along my, with my day that's something that you can work with too because if you have the client base for a coin you can definitely sell it and toning like this on a standing liberty quarter especially in a key date is something um, that I normally work with a lot and when I took this coin home I found a new owner for it immediately and 
Um, so that's kind of the, the main premise of this video is just to understand what a, a coin dealer is passionate about, what they know how to price correctly, and then what they don't know how to price correctly. Um, I talked him down to 11.75 because I said the highest sold comp was 11.75, and so he took it at that, and he didn't really capitalize the way he could on the toning, and that allowed me, as a coin dealer, kind of a vest pocket coin dealer, to make the money that I needed. But let me show you guys a few more coins today. Uh, we got a few uh, just stunning pieces. Um, and I bought this 1942 uh, Walking Liberty Half Dollar um, just because I love it. And it's the small things sometimes that get you excited about the hobby. I mean, you don't have to buy $10,000 worth of coins to be happy. You don't have to buy as much as we're buying or less than what we're buying. It's really just about what you enjoy, what you like at, at a coin show. If you only go there and buy a few coins, that's okay. That's just what, what it's about, really. But I like this coin because you can just see the blast white finish on this coin. I mean, there's no distracting spots. There's not even one one speck of distracting haze. There's normally like, there's sometimes there's like that glossy looking or kind of uh, almost looks like dirt on top of the coin. And that, that's originality, but this coin is so blast white, so stunning. It it just, I don't know, it, it took me back. I mean, it, it, it was amazing. I bought it because, you know, I, I really couldn't find a better example at the show. And I've actually never seen a Walking Liberty Half Dollar with this much luster and this much beauty to it. Um, and so I talked him down to it and... Well, and what we've been talking about as well is just if you find the right coin, um, based on the three things that we've been talking about, blast white, ugly toned, or beautifully toned, um, you can actually find a client for this stuff a lot easier than having an ugly toned coin because the premium is there for it. Um, but, you know, we bought this coin for $125 and they're selling around $145, but with this stunning you know, stunning luster on this coin. We actually ended up getting $150 for it. Um, and so it's just something that you guys should start to train your eye on, start to build some, uh, you know, start to build some, I guess, training for you, um, some teaching for you. And uh, most of you guys actually have uh, been collecting for a long time and, and know what to look for and know what to buy and know what to avoid. That can end up, you know, not growing as much as you'd like it to. Um, but I really love this Walking Liberty half. And I'm not trying to oversell coins here, guys. I, I just, when I buy coins, I love the coins that I buy. And if I don't, I'll tell you. And these three coins, I like. These are the three coins that I like to buy. Uh, original coins, blast white coins, or beautifully toned coins. Up next, here's a pretty cool uh, 1936D San Diego commemorative half dollar. I bought this coin because the fatty appeal to it, and as you can see right here, people actually like to stack commemoratives with uh, certain holders, and I've, I've actually started to get a little following over the past few weeks with people that say, I like, um, you know, I like rattlers with holders, with uh, the commemoratives, I'm sorry. I like, um, I like fatties with these commemoratives in them, um, and so I've been trying to find coins like this for a few people. Um, this kind of has a little bit of rim toning on it. Um, Nothing too crazy about the coin. The strike is a little weak, as you can see. There's, it almost looks like rubbing, but it is a strike right there. Uh, it feels like a soft strike to me. Um, that's kind of why the, you know, the 65 was was designated to it because, you know, there there are no really hits on the coin, but uh, the strike can take it down from the grade that it deserves. Um, but coins like this, I do like just because um, they're quicker movers, but also. Um, there's been a few guys, like I said, that have come to me and say, hey, I want a, a new commemorative every month. I want it in this grade. I want to start stacking them. Um, I want to start, you know, finishing the series. Um, and I think commemoratives right now are, you know, they haven't shot up like Morgan Dollars and Peace Dollars and other things have. So there's some room for you guys to, uh, you know, kind of buy where, uh, you know, things haven't shot up and cr crazy and dramatically yet. Um but I really I like this coin just because of of the uh, you know of the fatty appeal to it, and overall it's it's a nice coin, nice luster, um, but the strike is a little weak.
Up next, uh, we got a few uh, key date stuff, um, but I really wanted to show you guys uh, this this cool 90p that we got. Nothing too crazy about it. Um, as you can see, it's got some pretty nice luster on it, um, and we actually bought this coin from one of our friends that we've been talking about maybe in a previous video. His name's Jackie. He's a pretty cool guy. Uh, he's always got some nice affordable coins. If you guys ever run to him at a coin show, um, his name is Jackie, and he's a. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna see him. Um, there's gonna be a few coins like this. He normally has like a bunch stacked out, and uh, um, he's always talking to people, laughing, uh, having a good time. But uh, coins like this I like because they're they're uh, you know a little bit tougher to find right now 90 piece um, I actually had some two people yesterday one person bought it and the other person actually had it in their cart before they could buy it and uh, it ended up sucking for one guy but ended up being good for another so we're gonna try to work with the other guy to find more things that he might like um, to kind of fit his collection thank you guys for watching today's video if you did enjoy it remember to leave a like uh, comment if you're new um, and what you thought of today's video and subscribe as well. Uh, we put out a, a lot of nice coins on our website so make sure to check that as well uh, and we put out a lot of nice content so uh, why wouldn't you want to subscribe. So uh, thank you guys for watching like I said and we will see you in the next one.